In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of polar coordinates. So up until now, we've been used to the idea of Cartesian coordinates, where a point was defined by its x position and its y position. So for example, this point here would be 3, 4 in Cartesian coordinates. Polar coordinates, however, define the point using a different piece of information. They use the angle from positive x-axis and the distance from the origin as the two pieces of information to define a point. So for example, this point here, 3, 4, what we need to do to find out its polar coordinate, first of all, find the distance from the origin. Well, we can see that the distance from the origin is easily calculated using Pythagoras. So the x distance when u was 3, the y distance was 4. So the distance r from the origin is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which we know is 5. The angle theta, made with the positive x-axis, or as it's known in polar coordinates, the initial line, i.e. the line where theta equals 0, is given again just by using trigonometry. So it's the arctan of the opposite over adjacent, which is equal to, so do this in radians as well, angle unit radians, so arctan of four thirds, which is 0.927 radians. So the way we'd define this point here would be r comma theta equals 5, 0.927. And these look like coordinates, so you've got to be very careful to spell out when doing this in an exam, whether you're using polar or Cartesian coordinates. And the way I do that is just by writing r theta if it's uh, polar and xy if it's Cartesian. So let's move on a little bit. Let's do another example. Let's say that I want to sketch the curve r equals sine of 2 theta. And in this example, I'm going to restrict theta to be between 0 and pi over 2. Now I'm doing that to ensure that the distance from the origin doesn't become negative. Now there is some debate about whether the distance from the origin can be negative. Um, we're going to stick with the A-level convention of saying that it can't be. To avoid any confusion, we're going to consider distance to be a positive quantity. If you want to read about whether r can be negative, you can Google, can r be negative in polar coordinates? And there's an interesting debate online about it. But as I said, the A-level convention is that r is a distance, therefore cannot be negative. So we're now going to try and sketch the function r equals sine 2 theta, so theta lying between 0 and pi over 2. So let's consider the case where theta equals 0 i.e. we're lying somewhere on this initial line. So when theta equals 0, the distance from the origin equals sine of 0, which is 0. Therefore, the first point is there. Now let's let theta equal pi over 4, i.e. 45 degrees. So let's draw that line there. So our next point lies somewhere on that line. So theta equals pi over 4, which means that the distance from the origin is sine of 2 pi over 4, which is, so sine of pi over 2, should know this, but just being completely safe as pressure gets to people in an exam, which is 1. So on that line there, a distance of 1 from the origin, which is roughly about that there. Let's now go for theta equals pi over 2. See what happens. So the angle pi over 2 is this line here, which I've dotted red. So theta equals pi over 2 implies that r equals sine of 2 pi over 2, which is 0. So now we're back to the origin again. 
and we'll show an animation of this in a little while. But what actually happens, as we vary theta, is the curve goes round like that, creating a loop. So let's have a look at this in autograph. So you can see there, that's the shape of the curve. And you can see there's some dotted lines. So those dotted lines are where the distance R would be negative. And we spoke about this just before. It's debatable whether R is allowed to be negative. Uh, for the purposes of A-level, we'll say it can't. So ignore those dotted lines. But we'll just see this animation happen now. So we'll start with theta equals 0. Distance 0 from the origin. Now it's pi over 4, distance 1. Pi over 2, distance 0. And now is when... Uh, sine of 2 theta is negative so it's given it as a dotted line so you can choose whether to ignore that we're back to it being positive now so every the point always lies on that line and we've got a negative distance again so it's going to the opposite side of that line so the negative distances are the dotted lines and as I say for the purposes of A level we can ignore those so let's try R equals theta we'll try and plot that so the distance from the origin is exactly the same as the angle let's see that one go And we're going to get a spiral effect because the bigger the angle gets, the bigger the distance from the origin gets as well. So all the way from 0 to 2 pi. And 2 pi is 6.28 approximately. And you can see that's the distance from the origin when the curve stops. So that's basically an introduction to polar coordinates. And the A-level is pretty light on what you need to do with polar coordinates. There's two main things that you need to do um, after being able to sketch them. And those are find the area enclosed between two lines in a polar curve. Uh, and there's finding the Cartesian equation of a curve that's defined in polar form. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.